Yeah, that's oh, cool. Okay. Edit, edit that part out. All right, welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Jason. Dr. Shane. And we've got an awesome guide for you called How to Crush Your Morning Routine. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the description to be able to download the guide that we're going to be explaining to you here momentarily. And if you happen to see this on social media, just comment crush in the comments below on this post and we'll be able to, we'll be able to email you. We'll probably direct message you and uh, send you the link to be able to download the actual guide it's in a PDF form. You can get it right to your phone. Super simple to be able to, to uh, follow the guide. Mm -hmm. All right. So when it comes to your morning routine, um, in our experience, there's some frustrations people have around the morning routine. Um, number one, a lot of people aren't really sure what to include. You know, there's lots of different ideas out there about morning routines and, you know, prepare your meals for the, <clears throat> for the day or, you know, meditate for an hour or exercise for an hour or journal. And you're like, well, I want to make sure it's going to be effective. So we've done some of the legwork for you to make sure that what we include is going to be super effective for you. Another thing I've heard about morning routines is the time management part. Mm -hmm. Some people feel rushed in the morning or they're used to kind of waking up slowly and having a cup of coffee and watching, you know, the news or what have you. And they just kind of feel like the moments slip by too quickly to really implement a morning routine. So being frustrated with your time management skills is a big issue when, with morning routines. And this will kind of help you with that. And then the last thing is um, they want to make sure that what they do decide to include in the morning routine is actually going to be effective. Like, will they notice a change in their mood or a change in their productivity at work or throughout the day or you know where they feel like it's actually helping them advance in their life and those are some of the more common frustrations around a morning routine and what to do about it right and so what we've done is we want to make sure that uh, it's going to be efficient and effective for you so as dr. J mentioned we've done some of the legwork for you we've kind of distilled down some of the finer points of a lot of the optional uh, morning routines that do exist mm -hmm. and we've tried to kind of taken the like a cliff note version of all the the, the best juicy parts and put yep. them into this thing into this for you um, we know that um, we, we do want to have better time management skills I know currently at the time we're recording this I'm doing a 75 hard challenge and it one of the tasks is two 45 minute workouts every day and Physically, that sounds daunting, but really, I got to looking at it, and it's a time management issue. Right, so right. I had to be honest with myself with what what does my morning actually look like, and now I can fit those two forty five minute sessions in in um, without really much of much of a problem at all. Um, and then, uh, lastly, again, we want to you want to know with confidence what to include and what to exclude. A lot of times, people will start a program, and because they don't have really confidence in what mm -hmm. they're going to get out of it, it, they start to lose steam fairly quickly. Right. And I think with this one, you guys will understand that uh, it is very effective, effective and very efficient. You will be seeing changes in your, in your, uh, throughout your day when you, when you implement these strategies. Exactly. And morning routines have momentum. So maybe after one or two sessions, you don't notice much, but if you stick with it, you'll mm -hmm. notice big changes and shifts in your energy, your mood, your productivity, even your relationships. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? So in this morning routine, the first step actually starts the night before. And all you have to do is the night before, I want you to ask yourself a question. Is there a problem you're trying to solve? Is there a situation you're trying to kind of see some insights in? And what you want to do is as you're going to sleep, ask yourself, what am I looking for in this situation? Or what, what's going to be my answer for this problem? And just let your subconscious brain begin to munch on that over the course of the night. You don't have to sit there and stay awake and listen for the answer. Just kind of to yourself, you know, energetically to ask yourself that question and just try to go to sleep. And in the morning, the first part of the morning routine is going to be journaling. And you only have to journal for about 10 minutes. That's, that's the time we have set aside for this part of the morning routine. There's going to be four parts. Uh, so you can set a timer if you'd like or, or what have you. But when you journal in the morning, what you want to do is kind of a free flow journal, which means the, whatever the question uh, or answer you're looking for the night before, just wake up and begin to write free flow. Don't think about it too much. Just whatever comes to mind, just begin to flow. Even if it doesn't really make like a complete sentence, don't worry about punctuation. Just start to flow. And you'll be shocked at some of the insights you're going to see from your own writings and just working on that problem you know, from the night before to the morning. So for 10 minutes, the first thing you should do is just free flow journal about whatever question you posed to yourself the night before. And that's going to be a great start to the morning routine. Mm -hmm. Brain's a powerful thing. It'll get to work for you when we don't use that part of our minds nearly enough. Uh, another big thing that we, we want you guys to, to do is breath work. Mm -hmm. So breath work, specifically breathing in and out through the nose nice and slowly, it's, it's, it's something I've been doing myself and it's shocking to me how little 
uh, we ever pay attention to breathing. We just kind of right. honestly take it for granted. And there's so much you can get done when you breathe effectively and efficiently. So one of the tips is you want to take a nice big deep breath in through the nose. It's got to be the nose. So breathe in through the nose. About a four second inhale. Hold nice and strong for about seven seconds. And then exhale nice, smooth, slow. Feel your ribs fall back down. Feel your diaphragm lower. Um, in and out uh, for about eight seconds. You want to exhale for eight seconds with long exhalation. And exhales through the mouth, through, right? Through the mouth, yeah. yeah. So it's like they call it circular. And so, but the really neat thing about breathing in specifically through the nose is you get oxygen up into your to your mucous membranes in here. Mm -hmm. You actually produce a chemical called nitric oxide. That stuff is what profuses blood deep into all of our tissues. They actually make drugs out of that stuff. But we make it ourselves mm -hmm. if you're a good nasal breather. The other thing it does uh, near and dear to our hearts is it stimulates your parasympathetic, your calm, rest and digest portion of your nervous system to uh, enact. It says, hey, we are safe, we're calm, we're cool, mm -hmm. we can heal, we can do all these great things. Or your mind is calm when you breathe through your nose. It's powerful stuff. So much of our day nowadays is spent in the sympathetic part of our nervous system. Fight or flight. The fight or flight or freeze aspect. We yeah. have so many stressors throughout, the, throughout our life. It's really important for your body to have at least some time in the rest and digest state. You're going to notice healthier moods, healthier physiology. It's very important. So what Dr. Shane said about nose breathing is, is, is almost like a cheat code to get to that parasympathetic state. Okay, the third part of the morning routine is going to be the movement part. So now we're kind of going from mental stuff and breathing. Now we're going to get into our body. And what you want to do is set a timer for about 20 to maybe 30 minutes at the most. And you want to do functional movements, things that incorporate the entire body and kind of wake you, wake you up a little bit. You don't want to just do like arm curls and isolated exercises. So things like yoga are great. Um, functional movements in the gym, if you have access to a gym or some dumbbells at home, you, you know, use your entire body. Pilates, even going for a walk. And remember, start gently. Kind of respect your current level of fitness. Don't just jump into the weight room or jump into a you know, a, a routine that's too aggressive for you because then right. you're going to get sore the next day, possibly injure yourself, and that's going to derail your momentum. And momentum is super important for this. So for the 20 to 30 minutes at a timer, do something that kind of incorporates your entire body. My recommendation, my favorite thing is probably yoga. I and mean, there's lots of um, yoga videos on YouTube that you can use as kind of a guide for that section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the last thing, uh, the, probably the, the, the shortest, but one of the most impactful, is a declarative statement. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you're going to make. You could stand in front of the mirror. You could, you could, you know, if you don't have neighbors, you could go outside and shout it out. Uh, you can, you can say it in a more of a meditative or prayerful type state. But it's kind of like setting your intention for the day. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, today I am going to do X, or I want to accomplish this, or I am. Or going I want to, to feel a certain way. Yeah, yeah. I want to feel this way. I want to meet somebody new. I want to accomplish X, Y, Z task. You know. Um, just set a set an intention, a declaration for the day, mm -hmm. and your, your again, your mind is extraordinarily powerful. This is similar to the to the journaling concept. When you make a statement like that in the I am form, like I am going to do this, your brain subconsciously will seek every which way possible to try to make that a reality. Kind of right. like if you're looking for a new car and it's a yeah. green Honda Civic or whatever, like all of a sudden you start seeing them everywhere. And they were always there before, but now your brain is on the lookout for them. Yeah. So it's, like a, it's like a radar almost. Yes. You, you yes. tell your brain, you tell your brain's radar what to look out for, and it will start to ping you mm -hmm. when those things show up in your life, and you can take action on those, and you're going to notice them more. And that's how you create that momentum. You get this feedback loop, and pretty soon you're like, oh, right. You know, and, and it starts getting into a flow, and, and it's you become unstoppable. Right. So again, morning routines super important. This guy will help you crush your morning routine, as the title says. We know that frustrations, you're not sure what to include. We took care of that for you. You're maybe not to the best at time management. Having a morning routine will help you get better at time management. Mm -hmm. And you're not really sure if it's going to be effective. I promise you, if you stick with this stuff, you're going to begin to notice big changes in your life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So uh, again, comment below, uh, uh, crush, if you'd like us to send you this guide. If you're watching this on YouTube, just click uh, the link in the, in the description and uh, we'll get it right to you. All right. Have a great day. Right, tomorrow crush morning, it. crush your morning routine. All right, bye, guys. Take care. Oh, no.